Hi everyone, guess what time it is? It's Paper Pumpkin time of the month. <laughs> I got my August Paper Pumpkin kit from Stampin' Up! in the mail the other day. And I wanted to go ahead and do a video on that for you guys today. So, I just opened up my awesome red box that it comes in, which I think is more of an orangish red. We have our usual Paper Pumpkin card that we get that says thank you so much for inviting me to come back every month. Right now Stampin' Up's having a special 50% off your first two kits, which is an awesome deal. Uh, these kits are normally $19.99 and that includes five dollars of shipping so the kit's actually $14.99 or somewhere thereabouts with tax depending on where you live is going to be around $21 or thereabouts altogether and what do you get in the kit well it's different every month and it's a surprise every month they don't tell us beforehand what we're going to get and that's uh part of the fun and these kits are great for gifts i want to tell you guys about that um you know, if you have a crafty friend that you want to give a gift for Christmas, Christmas is coming up. It's only a few months away now. I'm getting a little nervous because I haven't started my Christmas shopping yet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they make great gifts for birthdays, um, Christmas, for that busy mom that wants to craft but she doesn't have the time. These are great kits. For the beginner crafter, these are awesome. They come with instructions. Everything's pre-cut. You have just about everything you need in this box. Usually, you might need to add a pair of scissors or some adhesive. But other than that, everything is in this box. And it comes right to your door. It's really fun to receive every month. So let's get started and see what's in the August 2015 Paper Pumpkin. First off, we have a... Stampin' Spot Whisper White ink and we have this awesome stamp set right here. Now you might be able to see it this way better. <laughs> Let me zoom in maybe you can see it better then. So you can see it says with love, hello, for you, with sympathy. Then we'll take our kit out and the kit always comes wrapped in plastic. Everything's right here all together for everything you need and look at these cards for for this month let me zoom out again um this is awesome look at this it's called the chalk it up to love and and that's the name of the kit for this month and this has your instructions and everything you need to make these uh items so let me get this opened up everybody that went to convention last month was telling us how wonderful this kit and next month's kit is going to be and i think they're right already I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. All right, so here's the page that was on the inside. And it tells you on the back cover, your kit includes Chalk It Up, Chalk It Up to Love Photopolymer Stamp Set, Whisper White Craft Stamping Spot Ink, three gold foil polka dot boxes, six card bases, three each of two designs, six vanilla envelopes, two sheets of die cut banners, three sheets of die cut flowers, one sheet of die cut fringe, three sheets of chalkboard tags, and two yards of black ribbon, one sheet of dimensionals, and one sheet of adhesive strips. So we may not need anything other than our hands and our mind. And of course, there's instructions on the inside. So let's go ahead and get organized here and i'll show you how to do this so we're going to have some awesome gift boxes as well as uh six cards all right i'm back and i believe i have everything set up i have my card bases over here i've got three of each three of the pink with the gold foil bows aren't those gorgeous and then we have three of the vanilla and gold striped okay and then we also have um three pink banners i believe that's pink pirouette i have those banners popped out of their die cut sheet i have uh all of my chalkboard tags popped out of the die cut sheets and organized into sections here um let's see these ones here are for the pink card okay that we'll be doing and then these are for the gold stripe cards these are for the 
boxes. So we have three extras. So that's one thing I love about Paper Pumpkin is you always have extra items. So I'm going to do my stamping first because I know for a fact that this Whisper White ink takes a while to dry. Okay, so I am getting ready to do my stamping now. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Pierce mat. And this is really awesome when you're using photopolymer stamps to get a crisp, clear image without too much effort. First, we're going to do two of them using the For You. Now, I realize on the instructions, there's two of them that say With Love and one that says For You. I prefer the For You because I'm not quite sure who I'm giving these boxes to just yet, and Love might be a little too strong, like if I'm giving it to a customer or something that I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, first we're going to do the For You. So I'm going to just take my ink pad to my stamp and I'm going to stamp right in the center of the tag. Hurry, I'm telling you what a great image you get and then I screw it up, right? I'm alright with that. I'll fix it. See if I can get a better image this time. There we go. Much better. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try to go over that and see if I can correct that U. If not, I have three extra tags and I'll just swap it out for another one. No big deal, right? So, uh, pardon me if my head gets in the way. I have to get directly over this to get it lined up, <clears throat> excuse me, lined up properly. And let's hope that was right. Yeah, close enough. All right, so there's the for you. Okay, next we're gonna take the little, um, the little flourish, and we're going to stamp that um, both above and below the for you. So let me just ink up my stamp and just try to center it above and below. Doesn't have to be absolute perfect. It's okay. Okay, so there's one. There's two. Now I'm going to turn my stamp around so that this little point is pointing down to do the bottom side. Okay, we'll go up here. There we go. And ink it up one last time here. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to set these two aside and do my last one so that the ink can dry on those. So, all right, for this one, we're going to do the With Love, and I'm just going to ink my stamp up. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp that a little bit above the center line. Okay. And again, don't worry about that. It's just a little minor mistake. We can always restamp it or we can leave it as is. After all, it is chalkboard paper, so we want it to look like you wrote on chalkboard, right? So uh, I'm going to actually leave it like that. I think I like it. It's not perfect, and I'm not about being perfect. I'm about making it look pretty and getting the job done, right? It's all about having fun. It's not about being perfect. And now I'm going to take my flourish again, and I'm going to ink that up one more time. Okay. Making sure that the point is facing down. And I'm just going to stamp it right underneath the with love. Now I could have stamped it a little closer to the words, but that's all right. Stamp the tags for our cards. Gold striped card has... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just stamp one of each for you, one for the gold cards, one for the pink cards, and that way you can get an idea as to what to do. And you can use whatever sentiment you choose. For this one, I'm going to use hello. Pop that onto a block. Okay, so I'm going to ink up my stamp. Okay, and then we're going to stamp this right in the center. Okay, 
And then I'm going to take my Hello and ink it up. And stamp that right in the center of that. Okay. I'm going to clean my stamps off. And that's one thing with the Whisper White ink. You want to clean your stamps immediately. Because it will dry on there and it will be a bear to get off. If it happens to dry on there, on your stamps, you can always um, use a little bit of lukewarm water and some dish soap, mild soap, and uh, gently rub it off. Okay, so there's one tag for our gold card. I'm going to set that aside to dry, and now we're going to do one for the pink cards. So I have that uh, chalkboard piece there. We'll do with love. So I'm going to just take my stamp and ink it up one more time using the Whisper White ink. Okay, and I'm going to stamp that just a little above center line. Okay, and then I'm going to take that flourish again and we're going to use that right under the with love we just ink that one up and we're going to stamp it right underneath there awesome so i'm going to set these aside and let them dry and i'll let you know if you need to heat set them or not and we're going to move on to doing uh putting together the box and doing the flower for the box next Okay, now I'm going to show you how to assemble your box. So you're going to take your box and you're going to um, fold all of your score lines first, okay? So that uh, they're easy to fold and bend into place. So just fold all of your score lines, top of the box, bottom of the box, and then I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, just make sure they're all folded they're already scored for you you just have to fold them on the score and then on the bottom to uh, close your bottom you're going to fold in the the small flaps first okay then you're going to fold in the larger uh, the large flap on the side that has this cut out here okay so fold that in then you're going to take this one that has the tab and you're going to just tuck it tuck the corners in or the whole tab in I should say right like so there and there you have your box and this is a cute little box this would hold some little votive candles or some little candy treats or anything you want to put in here that would fit okay so then next they say to take 21 inches of the ribbon and so I have pre-cut mine into three 21 inch strips and I have about 11 inches left over for another project all right we have our ribbon we have our box what are we supposed to do all right, it says uh, place adhesive strip on one end. So we're going to take one of our adhesive strips. Let me get an end over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to just take one of these adhesive strips. Make sure your adhesive comes with the, the backing because sometimes it gets stuck on that uh, plastic sheet. So we're just going to apply a strip of adhesive right here. Okay, press it down firmly turn our box upside down okay and we're going to place it right there we're going to remove the adhesive off of the backing off of the adhesive okay the piece of ribbon that doesn't have adhesive fold that over first making sure it's center and you want to pull the the piece that has the the side that has the adhesive you want to fold it right over the top the other side of the ribbon I think the whole point of not putting adhesive on the other side is so that you can slip it off of the box to open the box without um, you know messing up the ribbon or the flower that's going to be on the other side so there we have our box 
Now we're going to assemble the flower. All right, so we're going to learn how to make this flower together. All right, so what I need for one flower is a piece of the black fringe paper. See how it's fringy? And three of the pink flower petals. Okay, and they also suggest using a pencil. So I have a pencil that I'm going to be using. And the bottom petal you're going to curl the least. So you're just going to give it just a little bit of shape. Okay, just a little bit. Don't go wild or anything. You want it to curl a little, but not a ton. Okay, so that looks good on that one. I hope you can see how much I curled it. Okay, on the second one, which will be the middle piece, we're going to give it a little bit more curl than we did the first one. And we just do that by using a little more force or pressure when we do the curling. It's just like taking scissors and curling uh, ribbon. The harder you do it, the cur curlier it gets. Right? And you could also use your bone folder for this, which is, um, you know, what I normally would use, but I'm doing it the way the instructions are telling me to. I'm being a good girl. I'm following the directions. <laughs> All right, and so I'm, this is going to be the top petal, so you're going to want it to curl the most. And you could just take the tip of the petal, right like so, and just roll up that petal. Okay, you could do it right like that. And that's probably the easiest way to get it to curl. So we're going to do that on all four petals. Okay, then we're going to take dimensionals. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to move our pencil out of the way. We're going to take dimensionals and we're going to alternate our, our petals, I should say. So you're going to just offset the petals right like so. And I'm only using one dimensional uh, per flower piece, but you could certainly use two or three. And then with the top one, we're going to offset it from the middle one. Okay, right like that. Press it down, and there you got a cute little flower. Now we need to do the center. Okay, so I'm going to set the flower aside. I'm going to bring my pencil back in. And let's see what they say to do. It says curl fringe with a pencil. Place adhesive strip on one end of fringe piece. Starting at the end without adhesive, tightly roll fringe piece. Add fringe to center a flower with dimensional. Add flower and tag with dimensionals. Okay, so handy dandy instructions. I love that. <laughs> so the pieces that have the fringe, this the side that has the fringe, this side here, we're going to curl that with our pencil. So we're just going to do it the same way basically that we did that last set of petals. And we're just going to wrap it around our pencil basically. Okay, so we're just going to curl it all the way across. Easier if you have it laying on a surface. <laughs> <laughs> Just a FYI, learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make the same silly mistakes. Okay, and I'm not sure how much they want you to roll it, but I think that's pretty good. You can always finagle it once it's on the pink piece, right? All right, so we have our curled black piece. We're going to add some an adhesive strip on one end of it, and we're going to put it on one side near the bottom edge. Oh no, it's stuck to my finger. Like I said, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Alright, I think that should still work alright. So then we're going to tightly roll this piece. Just start rolling it as tightly as you can. And what you could do is put your finger on one end, like so, and roll with the other finger. That way it'll keep this pretty even. Now it is kind of important to keep this, you know, edge straight here because that's the end that you're going to use dimensionals to add to your pink flower. So try to keep it as even as you possibly can. Okay, so we're at the end and we're all rolled up nice and tight. Okay, and I believe you're supposed to spread these out once you have it rolled up. At least that's what the picture looks like. So we're going to go with it. 
I probably could have curled those a little bit more. And you could also just take it like this, pinch it, and push it. And that'll kind of give them a little bit of a curl as well. And then just spread them out. Okay, so let's bring our flour back in. And let's add this to our flour using a dimensional. So I have a dimensional on the end here. Add it to the center of our flour. And then we're going to just fan it out. And you certainly could curl these pieces up closer like that. Just take it in your hand, cup it in your hand, and just kind of give it a squeeze. And that will curl it up a little bit more. Just be gentle. You don't want to crumple it like a piece of trash. But All right, so there's our flower. I'm really liking that. And I, yeah, I can definitely see where the petals are curled more on the, on the photo, the front photo. So yeah, just curl your pe petals more than what I showed you, and it's okay. And you could also take your pencil in here and do it too, so that it looks nicer. Just roll it a little tighter, that's all. And then you could certainly do the same thing with the rest of the petals. So now we're ready to add our tag. Let me see if they're dry. Looks like they dried pretty well without having to heat set them. I'm, oh, I'm wrong. That's not dry. Let me just heat set this real quick and then we'll put it on our box. So that's a good tip for you. Make sure you heat set your white ink. So now we're going to add some dimensionals to our ribbon and we're going to add our flower and our tag. So we're going to put two dimensionals on there for one for our tag. And we want our flower to be kind of centered. And if you don't get it perfect, remember you can slide your ribbon around so that it is centered. So don't stress too much about the centering part. I mean, you want to get it close because you don't want that seam of the ribbon to be on the front or the side. But <clears throat> you know what I mean. And why are we putting this on the ribbon and not directly on the box? Because we want to be able to slide the ribbon off to put our goodies in and for the recipient to take the goodies out. There's that for the flowers. Let me just remove the backing on those. And the dimensional for the tag, I'm actually going to put on the back of the tag and not on the ribbon. But I'm going to make sure it gets on the ribbon when I place it on my box there. Okay, so we have our tag. I'm going to do this kind of at an angle, making sure that dim the dimensional goes onto the ribbon, right like so. Okay. And then we're going to take our flower and we're going to stick that right down overlapping over the overlapping over the tag and there you have a cute little gift box for somebody special i think that is the cutest box and the flower could use a little work and you know just work with your flowers you know look how beautiful they are in the picture you can get yours looking that way i can get mine looking that way if i take the time to do it um, but for the sake of the video i just wanted to get it together to show you how to do it give you the basics that you can build upon okay so there's our box i'm going to set this aside then we're going to assemble our cards all right so we're ready to assemble our cards let me zoom out just a little bit okay so i have the i'm going to do the gold one first and that's going to use one of the very vanilla banner pieces. I put dimensionals on the back already. And then you're going to place it on your card, centered right about there. Okay, and then uh, that's on dimensionals. And then the hello piece on our chalkboard piece, which I have uh, heat set, by the way. Uh, I did warp my paper just a little bit. I'm not worried about it. It will fall into place. Not a big deal. So I have three dimensionals on the back of this. So I'm just going to peel the backings. Okay, so we're going to take our piece and we're going to center it over the center it over the center of the banner, if that makes sense. <laughs> right. Well, it's not quite centered over the banner. It's going to be see where the V is, just above the the bottom of the chalkboard piece should be just above the V. Okay, so that one's done. That's a cute card, huh? And then our pink one, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to use one of the pink banners, which I already have dimensionals on. Not too bad I didn't peel the backings off before I started the camera back up. Don't mind me, I'm talking to the 
paper over here. <laughs> so we're going to do about the same thing. We're going to center it, oh, right about there-ish. Just press down the dimensionals so it stays put. Same thing with our chalkboard piece. I've already heat set the front of it, the With Love. And we're now just going to, and we're going to center this one a little bit higher than we did the other one. We just want it to, to look right, you know. And try to line up this point with the V point, and that will help you also have a cleaner look, smoother look. So there you go. There's our cards. So there you go. That's the August Paper Pumpkin from Stampin' Up! August 2015. And if you have any questions about how to put these together, if you uh, need assistance in any way, please leave a comment down below. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, and we will talk with you all soon.